Welcome back guys to a new video. Today we are visiting one of my favourite charity shops ever. This is definitely one of my favourite ones I've ever been to. So I'm so excited to take you guys on this little journey around this shop. I love thrifting in America because the shops are so big. Here in the UK there's no doubt that they are definitely a lot smaller than we would like them to be. So when I stumbled across this shop which is in an area called Bearsco here in the northwest of England I was like so happy. I was like oh my god I'm coming back multiple times. I'm very excited for you guys to sit back, grab a cup of tea, and let's have a browse around this Sue Ryder charity shop. Okay guys, let's get stuck in. Here we are outside Sue Ryder and I honestly didn't know how big this shop was going to be. When I walked in, I was like, oh my god, it feels like being in an American thrift shop. It just had everything so organised. I think just because of the sheer scale of this shop, it just had that automatic like thrift shop vibe um but yeah i mean look at the rails and the hangers and the racks of clothing there was just like so much to look at i was a little bit overwhelmed i tried to do this in categories but at the beginning i was just like all over the place so i started looking at the jackets um and i was on the hunt for like a tweeded blazer I shared one of these in one of my autumn trend videos for 2023 so i really wanted to get like a checked um kind of like vintage chanel inspired blazer so i was on the hunt for that mainly and they had a lot of good options in here as well i tried a few on <laughs> I then moved over to look at the tops and there's just so much choice. I just loved it. I pulled out a few bits that I thought were nice. I'm starting to think that this is a good way to film my thrifting videos just to pull out key items so you guys get to see a little bit more of the clothing rather than me just going through every single, you know, item on the on the rail. But yeah, lots of good stuff in here and everything was priced from around the t-shirts and blouses were priced from around £3. The most expensive one I saw was like £8, so not badly priced at all. Still a bargain. <laughs> Then we moved over to the dresses and is this rail not just like heaven this is just heaven to me guys i went through every single dress on this rail it took me at least like 25 minutes to go through every single dress literally pulled every dress out you could think of they had everything here from glittery sparkly to floral to business work wear pretty much every category was covered So for me, I'm mainly on the hunt for any dresses that I can kind of layer this autumn and winter. Even though it does get cold in the autumn and winter, I still like to wear dresses with like tights underneath and big jumpers. Just think it gives like a little bit of like a stylish edge rather than just wearing jeans all the time. And I don't know, something very comfortable about wearing a dress and a jumper. I think not having any restrictions on your waist. But yeah, these dresses, I just pulled a few out that I thought kind of grabbed my eye. Okay, then we moved over to the shoes and I've never been in a UK charity shop and seen A, so many shoes and B, shoes organised in such a clear way. Like you can honestly just see like every pair of shoes so easily. The shelving is so handy. Um, so yeah, this little section they had shoes and jewellery and I mentioned a few videos ago that, you know, this kind of chunky vintage hippie jewellery is back on trend now. So you'll see a lot of that in charity shops. But I was mainly on the hunt for like 
like any red slip-on shoes that might be quite cute i didn't see any sadly on this trip but i'm really into like a vintage shoe but i'm a size four so also a lot of these shoes tend to be five and up so sadly no shoes for me in this store Tell me this scarf rack is not just the cutest thing ever. Like, look how clearly you can see all of these scarves hanging up. And especially as we go into the colder months, these are obviously like just little thin neck scarves, but they're really nice accessories, I think, just to jazz up an outfit. Guys, this top was everything. I look back on it now and I'm like, why did I not get you? And literally, I swear when I got home, I saw so many people on Instagram wearing these kind of like jazzy tassel tops. And this one was divine. It was £15. So definitely a high price, but I can see why. But I just left it behind because I wanted somebody to have it who would actually wear it. I think for me, it would just sit in my wardrobe and I'd wear it like once in a blue moon. So I did leave it behind, but... It was incredible. I carried on my search looking at a few more tops and I just wanted like fun Christmas inspired tops. I know that that glittery one would be perfect for Christmas, but it was not really wearable every day. So I just wanted some like lacy vintage inspired tops because I feel like my wardrobe is lacking it at the moment. I'm not usually a pink girl, but I found so many cute pink tops and this one was honestly divine. I just thought the structure of it was so gorgeous, but it was a little bit too bright for me. I just thought if it was a little bit of a more muted pink, then I definitely probably would have got it. Okay, we then moved over to the jumpers. Obviously, as it gets colder, I am all for knitted jumpers or cozy jumpers. I do have a few already, so I'm I'm trying to limit myself, but I love like vintage ones or like Christmas, you know, like ones with like Christmas prints on or woolly ones like this are really nice. Um, so yeah, there's something to pick from. I just have to go through every single one to make sure that you're not missing out. Anything that could be a little hidden gem. Then I moved over to the skirt and I really wanted like a red skirt. I just thought like a red midi skirt would be so nice. I've actually been on the hunt for one for such a long time, but never been able to find one. Originally, I wanted like a denim one. Now I think I want like a cotton one, but I just think that pop of red would be so perfect for this time of the year. Okay, then I had a look at the jackets, of course, because it's going to get cold very soon. I think charity shops in the UK have a really good mix of jackets. You just have to find them in your right size because a lot of the times I struggle with them being large and I really want like a small. So yeah, that's the only thing that kind of puts a blocker on them. But they always do have a good selection of vintage ones. I then moved over to the menswear because I like looking at the menswear. I think they have a really good selection of jumpers and t-shirts. Not so much trousers, obviously, but the jumpers and t-shirts we can, we women can definitely get our hands on and have a play around when it comes to styling. Okay, then I finished off by looking at the home decor because at this time of the year, I'm always wanting to decorate my house. So there was a lot to pick from. These lamps were absolutely gorgeous. I thought they had such a vintage feel to them. And there were so many mirrors. I'm always on the hunt for like vintage prints. So yeah, really enjoyed having a browse here.
Hello guys and welcome to the haul part of this video. First off, just want to say I'm sorry that I am recording this on my iPhone. I know the sound quality is not the best, but I cannot for the life of me find my um, camera memory card. So we're just going to have to go with it. This was an amazing child shop, guys. I am so excited to go back there because it was so big and I just love it when you stumble across like a shop like this. I didn't even know it was there. I'd never heard of it. And I walked in and I was like, oh my God. I literally turned to my mum and I was like, mum, maybe you go off somewhere for like an hour or so because I'm going to spend ages in this shop. My mum does love the charge shops, but nobody quite likes it as much as me like i literally go through every single item um so it's best for me just to be on my own so my mom and my sister went around the other shops and then came back and kind of collected me um i did only get one thing from this shop i tried on like four different things but i'm just like i was like they're not 100 percent correct and then i walked away with this item so the item that i got was this dress little red dress i know we're going into fall and winter now i still think this is kind of appropriate for fall and winter i mean with our dresses we can basically layer like jumpers and jackets over them so we can get away with it anyway but i just loved the bottom detail on this i mean look at that like the little like shaping at the bottom this kind of like print clash i just love i kind of wish this bottom print was here and then this print was here um but i mean we live we move on but yeah i just adored it i just thought it was really quirky and unique um so i got it for to size 12 i got it for 475 and i'm usually a size 10 but sometimes like i don't mind getting 12s because it just means that they're gonna hang a little bit more loose and when it comes to dresses like i don't really like them to be like very tight anyway on my chest so yeah i feel like this will be a good fit nonetheless how pretty guys i'm just obsessed i think it's gorgeous it's got this gorgeous layering underneath and just with like cowboy boots and like a jumper thrown over i think that like edge detail will just look so cool now i do have some other things in this haul they are not from the charge shop they are not secondhand i basically went on a little shopping spree with my sister abby and we went to get like some home decor bits she actually got a gorgeous coat from john lewis like a mac um but yeah maybe follow her on instagram she might put it up over there um but yeah i picked up some home bits and i just thought i'd put them in here because my hauls tend to be quite small at the moment so let's bulk it out first place i went was waterstones and i actually walked in and i was like i'm not gonna get a book like i don't need a book i have so many books that i've actually not read yet on my bookshelf um so i'm trying to like be that person who gets through every book that she currently owns but i saw this one and guys i couldn't resist um i mean when when you see the cover of it you're gonna just know like of course just had to get that this is the book that i picked up it's called pre-loved and it is a fiction book by a lovely woman called lauren bravo so two things about this book first one is if you know me you know how much i love the housewives and the company that produces them are called bravo so i was like okay her second name is bravo love that and then the book is called pre-loved so i was like is that about secondhand or not and then when i opened it up and read the little blurb um i was like hooked straight away it's basically like a fictional story around a woman who works in a charity shop incredible so i'm so excited to give this a read i just think it looks gorgeous um and yeah i think sometimes i get so invested in like self-help books that it's nice to change things up and have a bit of a fictional read every now and again I've seen so many tiktoks around primark home stuff and i love home decor especially at this time of the year but sometimes it can be you know quite expensive but primark is so good for it and so cheap um so i will say that i don't love primark clothing as much but their home decor i can definitely get behind so i got loads of these little artificial flowers they're quite long but basically i'm gonna like cut them but i have this fish bars and i always usually put like real flowers in it i do prefer real flowers over artificial ones but at autumn, I just feel like you can't get the colours that you want. So I saw these and I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a, like an autumnal, wintry, like bouquet of flowers. So that's what I did. So I got two of these ones and these were £1.50 each, which is not bad. Then I went for this kind of like greenery. Um, these were, oh, £3. I didn't know they were £3. Oh, well, um, £3. So I got two of them. 
which look very nice. And then I got one of these ones, a little bit random, but I just felt like it was nice. Um, and that was £1.50. And then I got three of these little white ones just to add a little bit of white in there. Obviously, I need to like cut and design a bit better. Um, but yeah, these white ones were £1.30, which is like a bit of a random number. Let me get the vase and show you quickly. Okay, so this is the vase. This is my little fish vase. Um, and yeah, it always just sits on my mantelpiece like empty. So I'm thinking, you know, cut these down, get them in the vase. And I think it's just going to be a perfect all round bouquet for the winter months. Okay, the next things that I got were actually Christmas related, which I know guys, I am definitely one of those people who does Christmas early. First thing is probably the best thing. I got this gorgeous wrapping set. Guys, how beautiful is this? For me, when I'm wrapping my Christmas presents, I just like to do kind of like the rustic vibes and i just thought this would be so perfect to come in handy um i don't need to buy anything else really this will do me like for all my presents i think and um, it was five pound and yeah it's got like just a variety of different things in it so it's got like an acorn it's got look at this little star look at that um it's got like ribbon tags um what else it's just got like loads of pretty little things in it so i know that i'm going to be so grateful when it comes to wrapping my presents that i bought this so i'm excited to have this and it was very cheap so definitely worth the money then speaking of presents i got myself these little cute gift bags i'm just a sucker for like anything kind of like vintage christmas um and i just love the design of these i thought they were really cute Um, little tart and one which you can't go wrong with simple little merry christmas and then the tree printed one um and yeah these come in handy like if i'm transporting presents from like one house to another these are really helpful for that because me and my family we all live separately now so it's quite nice to have little gift bags to kind of bring the presents to them okay the last thing that i got was this little winter spice um diffuser this is only a pound they do these every year and i just think a pound is so cheap so yeah couldn't resist i had to pick that up and winter spice is my favorite scent okay something else that i got from primark not christmas related was these little um reusable cleaning pads for your makeup i am so bad when it comes to cotton pads like i just use them i go through them so quickly so i saw these and i was like actually they look very soft if i can get it open <laughs> so yeah they come in like five different colors and honestly i think they're gorgeous very very soft so yeah one for each day of the week so i'm very excited about them and they just feel so soft so yeah a good little find okay and the last thing that i got on this little trip was a candle this is from tk mac i know i said i already had like autumn stuff and i do already have halloween and autumn candles but i just couldn't resist this one was just gorgeous and my sister actually got the same one so we were like matching okay so this is the candle that i went for the main reason i got this was because of like the little jar like this would be so cute when the candle is gone like for like little earbuds or cotton pads actually i could put my new reusable little um pads in here that would be very cute and um, but yeah the jar that's what i love about these candles like these jars just come in so handy and it also smells incredible it's like what is it like it's a bit like fiery wood type of thing oh it smells amazing so that was only 5.99 which i just think is a bargain so that was everything that i picked up on my recent little shopping trips i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching as always yes i love you guys lots and i will see you next week for a brand new video bye